Hello everyone. First of all, can anyone actually hear me? That might be a good start. Um, and if you can't, then I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> so let me know in the comments if you can actually hear me. Let's start off with that before I actually start talking. Can you hear me all right? I'll wait a little bit just to make sure everyone can hear me. My goodness, 5.30 in the morning for someone. I don't know, can you guys hear me all right? Oops, sorry about that. I shouldn't go so close. <laughs> can you hear me all right? I don't know, none of the comments have come up. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, they're all coming through. The sound is all good. Well, hello everyone, thank you for joining. Um, I know everyone has awesome little intros to their uh, live streams normally, and I don't know how to do those. <laughs> and so I was thinking of doing like a timer on my phone and just showing you the screen and then having it on a tripod set up there and then just moving it and be like, starting. <laughs> but yeah, and then um, I decided not to do that. But then I thought maybe I could have like an egg timer and be like, starting. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty bad egg timer. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyway, here we are. We are live. Um, first time on YouTube, so bear with me if things aren't working. Um, but thank you everyone for joining. Um, I was just having a look through. Um, hello everyone from the US. Um, I was just having a look through and someone, um, racing guy, uh, um, has gone through a hurricane and lost his tank twice through those hurricanes. That is insane. Um, that is definitely, I was just thinking before this live stream that we've had a super wet um, winter here in Australia, but we have definitely not had any hurricanes or anything like that. So, yeah, our um, flooding and stuff like that has been very minimal compared to actual, um, yeah, hurricanes we've not had anything like that and poor man's reef 5 30 a.m in the u.s thank you for joining and jim from telegram thanks for joining marlon thanks for joining um okay cool and then we had the audio all good that's awesome <laughs> hello leonard from india awesome Oh, no, someone can't hear. Can someone hear? Brad can't hear me. I don't know how to fix that. Let me have a look. Oh, I just muted me. That's not good. Let's not do that. <laughs> oh, I don't know how to fix that, Brad. I'm sorry. Can everyone else hear me all right? Just let me know, just in case I just did that whole thing, <laughs> talking to myself. Sorry, my um, webcam is also not the best of quality in the world either. So, yes. All right, cool. Sound is working. That's awesome. All right, cool. Hello, everyone that is joining. Thank you for joining. Oh, that's awesome. So someone from Bangladesh is wanting to start a mixed reef as well by the end of this year. That is awesome. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Thank you for joining, everyone. Yeah, I was just wondering. And also Telegram. Um, so you say, so Telegram also has his own YouTube and he does live streams. And he says that us Australians are from the future. So... 
And I was actually thinking about this last night. I was thinking that if we're from the future and we have to give a future update, then this might make no sense whatsoever. But if there's stuff in the past that is extra to what we experienced in the past, then I think that you need to share that, Jim. <laughs> if there's anything extra that has happened in the past that we missed, then I would I would like that to be shared. I don't even know if that makes any sense whatsoever, but it is um, a thought that I pondered. So, yeah. And also, on that, I do have a dictionary with me tonight. Another thing was Telegram said that listening to Australians even read the dictionary is interesting. So um, since we are all about uh, education here on Simple Aquariums, uh, <laughs> um, Jim, you need to give me a word to read out from the dictionary because we're all going to be educated here tonight or this morning, wherever you are. We are all going to be very educated. So, <laughs> yes, um, we need a word for everyone to be educated on tonight. So I want a nice, nice word, although it is an Australian dictionary and I don't know how much of those um, very fancy words, um, yeah, would be in an Australian dictionary. I was trying to have a look through and make sure that, yeah. So it's, do you guys have that overseas, like an actual um, country dictionary? Like, or is that just an Australian thing? Like, I was trying to see what Australian words are actually in there. Um, or is that just an Australian thing that we make our own dictionary with all our random um, slang words for everything? I'm really disappointed, though, that there's not Australia in there, like, because that's how we say Australia. We drop off a few letters and say just Australia, but that's not in there. So, I don't know. Pointless. Absolutely pointless. <laughs> so, uh, I'll just have a little look through. <laughs> Hello from Malaysia and Yorkshire, UK. Awesome. Thanks for joining everyone. <laughs> yes, that's right. I'm really sorry about this autofocus. I don't know about this webcam. It's a bit of a bad time, but I'll try not to move too much. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, well, we need extra from the past. We need extra information from the past. <laughs> Taylor, thank you for the super chat. Did I install my sunlight yet? No, I did not. Yep, not yet because I want to do a video on it. And no, I haven't. I haven't done it yet. But um, I got a light for the sump for my new tank, which I'm really excited about because you see all these sumps that have really nice lighting under their sumps. And um, yeah, obviously running this on a canister filter, I've never had a sump uh, to light up. I mean, I've tried lighting up my canister filters. <laughs> um, I put a little disco ball on top of my canister filter once and that was fun, um, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at least I'll be able to have like a proper sump that I can light up and, and actually look half decent. So no, to answer your question, I have not put the sump light in, but thank you very much for your super chat. <laughs> awesome. Hello, Novice Reef Keepers Australia. Hello, thanks for joining. Yes, the word of the day is arbor. All right, let's have a look. Look, I can't guarantee that's going to be in an Australian dictionary. <laughs> we don't really do big words over here, but let's have a look. Arbor. Let's have a look. Oh, arvo. <laughs> oh, I like arbor. I want to look at arbor. Is arbor even a word? I wouldn't even know. Let's have a look. For those of you who are just joining, we're looking in the Australian dictionary because Jim from Telegram is giving us the daily word because we're educating people here on Simple Aquariums. We're all about the education. <laughs> so 
All right, we'll look up both. We'll go Arba and Arbo. So Arba, this is a bad time trying to find this, I tell you. Arba, Arba. There's lots of A's. There is lots of A's. Who, I want to know, who's actually used a dictionary recently, an uh, actual book one, not just your phone? Yes. Who uses them still? I would like to know who actually uses them, but let's see if Arba's actually a word. A R. <laughs> it's probably not a word, and I'm looking for something that doesn't exist. A L M N O P. Arba. A R B. Um, no, can't find it. <laughs> I actually can't find it. I don't think that. Oh, no. Var of Ava. It's a var of Ava. So, everyone, that's our little education for tonight. Ava is the var of Ava. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. <laughs> and Arvo, let's have a look at Arvo as well. Arvo. Is, does anyone actually say Arvo overseas? I would like to know if anyone actually says Arvo. That is um, Arvo. Or is that just an Australian thing? I forget that. Everyone has their little Arvo. Let's have a look. Arvo. This is a lot harder looking up in the dictionary. So I'll put it up here so you can actually see what I'm doing and then I'm not just using my phone. I am using my, this thing. Arvo. And this is very tricky under pressure. It's very under pressure. All right. Well, Arvo, I can answer that one. I can answer that. That's when in the afternoon. So we say Arvo instead of afternoon. So we just sort of shorten it a little bit. So, yes, there you go. I'm a little walking, talking dictionary right here. <laughs> All right. Australian Shepherd, is that the dog? Is that the dog? I love Australian Shepherds. They are beautiful dogs. So, yes, you do need another Australian Shepherd if that's what you're talking about. What are my plans for stocking the water box? Well, I am planning on doing lots of acro um, corals because I've had zero success having them in this tank. So, um, yeah, I really, really want uh, lots of acro corals and I don't know about fish yet I'm undecided um but yeah I don't know I was thinking maybe a school of chromis but then I keep you know um maybe some just really nice pink fish or something something pretty I don't know I want it to look pretty uh so yeah something nice and pretty for that tank um yeah but and I really 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 want to keep scrolling Montipora as well um the red scrolling Montipora. So I'm planning on having that on the side sort of thing, um, growing out from the side um, on that tank. But yeah, super excited about that to finally, hopefully, fingers crossed, be able to grow SBS for the first time. So very excited. Um, but yeah, that is my um, plans for the new build, which is very exciting. And as some of you would have seen, I've got uh new viper spectra lights over my uh six foot so yeah really really excited about that i don't know if the lighting looks as terrible as it looks on my screen for you guys oh there we go nice little zoom in sesh for you <laughs> but, um yeah i'm really stoked with how the uh bracket came up so i had um a mate of ours down here where we live. And for those of you who don't know where I am in Australia, so you've got Sydney. I don't know which way to point, but uh, you know where Sydney is, right? So there's Sydney, then there's the other side of Australia, which is Perth, Western Australia. So you've got all of that side. And then down the very bottom of the the western side of Australia, down the very bottom, down near Antarctica, where it's nice and cold, is Albany, where I'm from. So that is, uh, yeah, where I'm from. So I can't remember where I was going. <laughs> but yeah, just to give you an idea, that is where I'm from right down. Um, 
right down there. I really can't remember where I was going with that, but anyway. Oh, that's right. So, yes, the brackets. Um, yeah, someone locally that we know, um, I said, look, I've got three lights that I need to get hung over my six-foot tank, and he is a metal fabricator. So he decided to, um, yeah, he came out and had a look and decided to use some uh, cable, cable bracket, cable bracket. I think it's called cable bracket. Yeah, cable bracket maybe. Um, and so he got that from a sparky um, or electrician if you're from overseas and you don't use <laughs> that shortened language. But anyway, so he got that. And, um, yeah, made the side. I'll do a video anyway, um, much better than this one on them. But, yeah, super stoked with how it's come out. So very excited to see how the coral growth is going to go with that. So, yeah, we will see. Um, let's have a little look. All right. Thank you, everyone that has joined. Thank you. A school of Bangai Cardinals. That is something I did think of as well. They are beautiful little fish and it would actually be pretty cool to be able to breed them as well. So I, that has crossed my mind and continues to cross my mind. So you never know. We might, we might do that. We'll see. <laughs> um, all right. Thank you. Um, how high you got those vipers up? I don't know, um, about that high, <laughs> I don't know, uh, maybe maybe a 30 centimetres, we'll go with 30 centimetres high, so the top of the um, top of the bracket, yeah, I'd say it's about 30, 30 centimetres off the top of the surface, um, yeah, actually the bracket and then the lights are about halfway through that, so I don't know. Um, if that answers your question, did you remove the lenses on the vipers and replace the lenses? Right, so I have re removed the lenses of this one here and then those two still have their lenses on um, because I'm going to do a video because you can actually see, um, shout out to Jim from Telegram, like you can see a huge difference with the spread um, taking off the lenses off um, the light. So... I've taken off the lenses off that one um, and, yeah, I'll show you guys in a video um, the difference there. But, yeah, definitely found a huge difference there. So um, really, really stoked. But, yeah, I'll definitely be taking off the lenses off the other two as well, which is awesome. You're west of Australia. Yes, I am west of Australia. Um, yes, that's correct. I'm actually originally from Sydney, so I was originally from Sydney and moved over to Western Australia. So, um, but yeah, grew up in Sydney and now I'm in the very bottom, close to Antarctica side of Western Australia. So, yeah, cable trays, hanging cable trays, that's right. So, yeah, cable trays, which is really, it, it was not my idea at all to do the cable tray. Um, but it's such a good idea because it's designed to hide cables. So, yeah, really, really stoked with how it's come out. It's awesome. Oh, you call them sparkies over there too. That is awesome. I'm really – I'm really – did we start that? Did Australians start the whole sparkies thing? If, I don't know. I presume we did, but that, that makes me happy that you guys call them sparkies. That's great. <laughs> yeah, cable tray. I don't know what I called it before. It was probably not cable tray, but anyway. <laughs> oh, you meant the percentage that you're running. I don't even remember what you said. Right. So, um, yes, with the Viper Spectral Lights, I'm running them for the first three days. I run them on uh, so you can change the channels of the blue and the white. So I had them on five and five on both channels for the first three days. And then I have um, upped it to 10 um, after that. And then I think, I don't know, it says it in the instructions sort of to gradually do it. But I think after about a week and a half, I might up it again, um, just slowly, because um, my poor little corals are probably not used to so much light. Anyway, 
Um, but yeah, sorry. <laughs> Here I'm explaining how far up the thing is in ruler lengths, but anyway. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, really, really happy with the lights. So the spread is awesome on them. Um, yeah, and they're, they're on like the lowest setting as well, which is crazy. So, um, but yeah, I think they can be quite white. Um, so I did do a little cheeky test, putting it on 100 blue and like very minimal white. And it's still very white compared to like, you know, more sort of... Um, tank lights um, which is totally fine um, I actually haven't been minding it being so white but um, yeah it's definitely going to be a lot lighter um, whiter than it was um, when I had the blues on there so but yeah so I don't know we'll see how we go but I've been very very impressed with how um, strong they have been even on the very very low settings so yeah um, yeah Victoria is further south are you guys further south? Really? I'm going to look that up. Victoria is further south than us. That's crazy. I guess you guys have probably very similar weather to us as well. I would have thought we were like on the same. Anyway. Okay. I'm going to look that up. That's interesting. How are the Viper Spectres? They are awesome. I'm really, really. And do you know, one thing I'm really enjoying about the Viper Spectres is they come with remotes. And so they all came with their own separate remote. And I'm thinking, all right, so I'm going to have to remember, I'm going to label them which ones for each remote. But I don't know, this blew my mind. One remote actually does every single light. So if you hold it close enough, it'll do that light and then you can change to the other ones, which is very exciting. I thought that was very exciting. I only need one remote and I'm going to keep one as a backup in case I lose that one. But um, that was very exciting that I didn't have to label them all. And <laughs> yeah, I was a fan of that. I was definitely a fan of that. You named your first daughters after Sydney. Yes, I Great Barrier Reef is definitely on my to-do list. Um, there's actually a really nice reef up north in Western Australia. It is called Ningaloo Reef, and that is somewhere I really want to check out as well. Um, even, I don't know, I haven't gone to many reefs before, um, but we went up north to um, Geraldton up north in Western Australia not long ago. And even, you know how I've got these little guys, the Australian stripies, sorry, I keep doing that and it goes really blurry. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, but anyway, my Australian stripies, Jeff and Norman are their names. Um, we went up to Geraldton and um, just off the jetty, there was all these stripies. Like, it's just so awesome to see the fish in their, you know, their natural habitat. I think that's just like... and. That's just stripies. Imagine going to a coral reef and seeing the corals and all the beautiful fish there. Um, so, yeah, definitely I want to go up to Ningaloo in Western Australia and definitely head over to the Great Barrier Reef. So, yeah. But, yeah, Sydney Sydney was, yeah, all right to grow up in. Um, it's very busy, though. <laughs> I don't know. Very busy. So, um <laughs> You laugh at me sawing my tank cover with the saw upside down. <laughs> Do you know what? I looked at it. I bought it that day because I didn't have a saw and I looked at it and thought that blade looks upside down. And um, But it still worked. And when I put the – anyway, it still worked. But I'm like, I bet this is wrong. And then, sure enough, all of you <laughs> will let me know if it is wrong, which it was. So – Sorry about that. <laughs> but, yeah, it is, yeah, just one of those things, you know. Sometimes you just got to sort things upside down to learn. What have you done? <laughs> A dwarf ang angle or ang I think that means dwarf angel. It could mean dwarf angle. <laughs> um, I don't have either a dwarf angle or dwarf angel. I'm guessing you mean dwarf angel. Um, no, I don't, but I might. I've actually been looking into them lately. They're the ones, oh no. No, I'm thinking, <laughs> sorry. 
No. Um, those betta fish, the, um, they're betta fish and they're like all freckled. They're really cool. I want to, I'm looking into them, but no, I don't have any dwarf angels. I'm really sorry that it's <laughs> completely not answering your question. But anyway, Tasmania is lower again. I know. And do you know what? Um, I couldn't help but notice <laughs> on um, Dim on Telegram's um, live stream, he keeps saying that Tasmania isn't a part of Australia or keeps mentioning it as like separate to Australia and it is separate but they are a part of Australia so yeah um yeah you guys you guys win the lowest down competition for sure you are definitely lower than definitely lower than um us Albanians here in Albany so yes you guys win that one for sure what are the two striped fish constantly swimming down, up and down behind you in the six foot? They are my Australian stripies. And do you know what? I had someone ask me once. Um, <laughs> I had someone ask me once, oh, what's the, what's the name of the two stripy fish similar to what you're asking now? And I was like, I commented back on YouTube. I said, oh, their names are Jeff and Norman. And he goes, no, I meant the species. <laughs> And, um, yeah, I totally gave them, oh, my gosh, sorry, I'm moving too much again. There we go. But, yeah, I totally gave them the, because I've actually got a name for every single fish in my fish tank. They all have names. So <laughs> if you ask me what the type of fish is, there is a 50-50 chance if you're going to get the species or the name that I see. And there's little Joycey. Joycey, my big chunky monkey, she is um are you allowed to, it's all right, if it's all right to have favourites, she's my favourite. She's my big girl. I love her. Okay, so how'd you get started with reefing and social? So um, I had discus for a while and then um, we've got, because being as down south but not as south as Tasmania as I am, <laughs> there's... Um, so our local pet shop, I went there and they've got a small sort of um, selection of um, saltwater stuff there. And um, and I went there and, you know, uh, the guy at the pet shop was like, oh, you know, you should totally get into saltwater after I'd been doing discus and buying discus from them. And I was like, oh, but I always felt like it was something that, you know, it was really, really difficult or, um, yeah, you needed like a, degree in ocean life <laughs> uh, to be able to keep them. And then he's like, no, 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 I know I know this guy that um, keeps salt water and runs canister filters. You could totally do it with the setup that you're doing. And so I was like, all right, yeah. So I decided to give it a go. And I actually set up a little small tank, a three-foot tank, which I had basically over where that one is. And, um, yeah, basically that didn't last very long because as soon as I got into salt water, I wanted to turn this one into a big reef tank. And, um, yeah, so I said, yeah, so I started that on the canister filter. And then the other thing was um, once he told me that you could do it on a canister filter, I started researching and everyone was like, no, nah, you can't do it on a canister filter. It's impossible. You can't do it. So, I was like, all right, if I'm going to do it on a canister filter, I am going to document it. So, um, yeah, so other people that are looking into getting into reef keeping can go, hey, you can do it on a bit of a budget or, you know, with the equipment you already had because this tank behind me, I bought that for, sorry, $350 and it came with all these canister filters. So um, it came with heaps of equipment and... Um, you know, I was like, no, I reckon if this works and I can run it on a canister filter, then I totally want to encourage other people to give it a go. Like, and, you know, upgrade as you go. And, um, but yeah, you can totally start off if you've got like, you know, depending on the corals you're wanting to keep, if you're wanting to keep the really, you know, the SBS and all that sort of stuff, I definitely recommend going and, you know, doing a bit more research, but um, to start with but if you just wanted to even start in the hobby um, 
yeah, I've definitely wanted to share the journey. And it, it's been really scary because I, I wasn't sure if it was all just going to fail. And I had so many people along the way say, it's all going to burn, it's all going to uh, crash and die. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it's been running um, in the six-foot tank for over a year now. And, um, yeah, it's all going really, really good. And now that I've, oh, my God, I just spilled my wine everywhere. I knew I was going to do that. <laughs> Tell ya, goodness me. All right, well, still got some in there. There we go. So, anyway, um, yeah, so that's why I got on to sharing it. I went straight on the power cord because, anyway, we are fine, guys. We're fine, but yeah. So, that's how I started to get into it. Um, yeah, it was more so. It was a bit of an experiment and um, I just wanted to use it as if if it did work, that I wanted to, you know, encourage other people to give it a go, um, even using the most basic equipment because um, I know for myself that I didn't want to get into, into reef keeping because it seemed like you had to have everything all perfect and all this, um, you know, high-tech equipment on everything which it definitely helps but I don't think you need it necessarily you know depending on what you're running so yeah that's my whole goal in running this uh, is to yeah encourage other people to give it a go just even if you're transferring over just get in there and you know you can always upgrade as you go so that's my goal but yeah hope that answered why I got into all of that <laughs> Yes, why well, no 120 great. Um, I'm guessing you mean the um bike spectra lights. Um, I decided to take them off after watching um Jim from Telegram's um videos on it and that it increased the spread because I've read a lot of people have said that they've been really and they are, you'll be able to see when I I'll, I'll I'll do a video on it, but um, they are really direct um, lights on there. So with, without the lenses, it really increases the spread. So, yeah. Marlon, thank you. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm sorry. It's done the blurry thing again. <clears throat> what is your favourite species of fish? Keep up the good work. No. <laughs> Thank you, Marlon. Yes. Um, my I love tangs, which is why I really wanted the big tank because um, I love all the big fish. And I just, they're so cute. They follow you around the whole room. Um, I just, they're, they're honestly like the little dogs of the of the ocean. So I'd see, just, it's so adorable. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm moving too much again. Um, but yeah, um, that's, yeah, they're my favourite, the big ones. I love all the big tanks and definitely um, one day I want to upgrade this tank again and just get more tanks. Um, so yeah, I love all the big fish. They're beautiful. So definitely. Jim, you also started with a canister filter. That is very cool. I didn't know that. That's awesome. I love I love hearing like different ways that it can be done because um, there's no one way that um, you know there's no one way to do reefing and that's you know I love hearing all different stories of how to do it and yeah that's I think that's really important for the hobby everyone doing things differently and sharing their experiences because yeah there's definitely more than one way to do it so absolutely love that. Thank you, Lee. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, Marlon, I tell you. Um, you're using, Taylor, you were using a hang on the back filter in your laundry tank. Yeah, exactly. I really, really agree with that. And um, for a little while there, I had one of my tanks with a hang on the back um, with uh, just anemones and clownfish in it. And yeah, I, 
yeah, I think it's awesome. I love, I love, love, love hearing that other people, you know, are just getting in, just starting um, just with what they have. And you can always upgrade. That's the thing. Like people say, oh, no, you need to start off $10,000. Don't even bother if you're not going to, you know, spend the big bucks. But you totally can. And, you know, before these lights, I had this tank running with, um, Blue Planet LED strip lights, which aren't even properly, I don't know, Telegram, you should probably um, test those lights to see how terrible they are. I, yeah, um, I didn't get a chance to actually test them. That would have been good. Um, but, yeah, you can totally do it on, you know, just the basic stuff. Just get in, just get your foot in the door and um yeah but it is it is an interesting hobby because there's so many people that are like no nah, you can only do it one way i don't know is this going really funny for you guys can you just let me know in the chat if it is doing funky things on your side because it's kind of doing funky things for me can you just let me know that's a bit weird i don't know oh, i'm sorry it's doing the blurry thing again <clears throat> but yeah i don't know that's what i love about this hobby everyone doing uh things differently yeah it's flashing okay that's not good i don't know how to fix that i don't know how to do that i might have to next time i do a live stream i might have to get a different webcam or a different computer or something i don't know i'm sorry guys if that's for people that can't deal with strobing lights when they're having a strobing <laughs> live stream oh you're right it is getting a little bit hot sorry guys sorry i don't know how to cool it down i could put ice pack on it <laughs> i don't know oh poor little webcam not having a good day um I know. If only my brother knew how to do live streaming online, that would be good. All right. I'm sorry, guys. I might have to wrap it up maybe if it's too annoying for you guys. Um, I don't know how to stop that. I can get ice pack. I'm right next to the fridge. I actually moved this whole computer out here next to the fridge, so maybe I can just get an ice pack out <laughs> put an ice pack on it. I don't know. Any ideas, let me know. Maybe I'll just have to end it. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm having a disco. And then it does this blur in, blur out thing as well. So you guys must be having a fat time. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jim. Thank you. Thank you. You don't have to. Because I have to do that. Uh, <laughs> camera fund. Yes, I need to get a new camera. Yeah. I do need to do that. I'm sorry, guys. Um, and I did see a before. I might, I might wrap it up if it's going to start doing disco things. But someone did say, "Do I miss my discus?" And the answer to that is yes, I actually do. Um, because yeah, <laughs> I still have people on Instagram from my um, discus days, and I still see their discus. And as much as they didn't move, and they don't do cool things like salt water but they were very very beautiful so I might um might be planning on maybe one day having discus again so yeah um I know this is my first ever live stream and as you can see um it's a little disco live stream <laughs> my poor little webcam is not having a good time so um yeah I don't know is it still really bad? Can you just let me know if it's still doing disco disco time over for you guys? <laughs> Maybe we can put some music on, just have a disco rave party. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you for everyone that's joining. I'm sorry about the really poor camera quality. <laughs> still disco? All right. Maybe I should wrap it up. Get back into the discus. Is that from discus addiction? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I will. I will. One day I definitely plan on having a discus tank again. Um, so, yeah, I'm definitely planning on 
getting back into discus and yeah i still have my freshwater tanks but yeah i do miss discus now that i see everyone's beautiful discus on instagram and i really want it again so yeah all right if you if it's not so super annoying for you guys i will continue with the disco happening but if it i don't know how bad it is on your side but yeah i'll roll with it if it's not super annoying for you guys but yeah thank you everyone that has joined okay audio is fine you just yeah we'll just go with the audio <laughs> thank you for joining everyone and yes i do have i do and do you know what people were like with this tank you should just leave it you shouldn't buy any more new corals for it just let it grow out i bought some more corals by accident <laughs> Don't you hate that when you accidentally buy coral or well, that happens happens to the best of us so anyway yeah this is a new i need to stop pointing because the, the camera doesn't like it even more but um i did buy some gorgonians see it's punishing me for pointing i'm sorry <laughs> um yes i absolutely love gorgonians but only the photo sent photo so <laughs> only the photosynthetic gorgonians um i haven't tried the other gorgonians yet because they um seem like a bit of a bad time with um not being photosynthetic and also yeah i like the, i like the easy ones so they're easy to keep corals so yeah sorry about that um yeah yes has anyone else out there, apart from discus addiction, I'm guessing you have got discus. I can kind of see them in your little picture as well. Um, yeah, I love discus. I definitely will get them again. They're beautiful, beautiful fish. But my little project, I'll let you in on a little project that I am um, thinking and starting. So I have set up a new tank um, and Back in the day, so how it all started, I, I used to have guppies all the time when I was younger. Um, and I was up in Perth the other weekend and they had some really nice male guppies, but they're not actually selling the female guppies because they don't want people to breed them and then sell them. So I've got some really nice endless endle, uh, male guppies. And um, I don't know if I'm supposed to be sharing this, so I, I should keep it a surprise, but here I am, we're sharing it, it's happening. So um, yeah, I, I don't know why, but anyway, I want to um, trial breeding the endler guppies with just normal guppies. I know they're super basic fish, but I don't know, that's, that's exciting for me to do some breeding and yeah, I think it'll be interesting to see the outcome of that I don't know it's always fascinated me with guppies and um yeah seeing the different yeah outcomes from different breeds so anyway I'm going to be doing that um just because I think that'll be fun so yeah like I don't have enough little projects going on at the moment but it will be fun um and yes so yeah I've got that um I'd like to do a little mini guppy breeding product project and uh, obviously my other my um new build behind me oh it's really not happy is it this camera anyway bad camera um <laughs> so yeah i've i'm really getting too many tanks aren't i yeah Yes, the purple and red gorgonians are beautiful. And I came this close to buying one the other week. Um, but I said, Lauren, they're not photosynthetic. They're a bad time. So I put it back. Well, I didn't put it back, but I said, no, thank you. So, yes. How many tanks is too many tanks? Um, I don't think anyone knows the answer to that question. That's a mystery. And it doesn't say it here in my Australian pocket. Oxford Dictionary, so it's a mystery. I don't know. <laughs> Guppy and cherry shimp, 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 planted tank. Yeah, well, and the other fish that I have in my little guppy tank is um, 
panda koris. How freaking cute are panda kori fish? If I don't know, I've got three, and I'm gonna look into how to breed them as well because that'll be cool. Um, but they're really adorable, and I think they're just really really cute. And I've got one that's a little bit deformed, and he's got a little squiggly tail, so I'm gonna call him Mr. Squiggles. So I don't know why I need to say that, but, but anyway, so. That's what's happening with that tank. It's very exciting. Um, but, yeah, we'll see how we go with my little guppy project. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. That's always fascinated me for some reason, breeding and um, coming up with different um, guppy strains or whatever. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Maybe a local school tank. That would be cool. Like, I would love to – and uh, where I work, I've actually – it's not been any influence out of mine whatsoever, but they have ended up with two fish tanks accidentally. So um, where I work, we now have two fish tanks. And, uh, yeah, so um, I absolutely love setting up fish tanks wherever I go. Where I, I used to work at a bank, and so, um, yeah, I worked there. They ended up with fish, and now I've got moved to this place, been there for a while, and now they've got two fish tanks. So, yeah, anyway, local school, I will set a tank up for you, no problem I will do it. <laughs> From Mizoram, Mizoram, India, hello. I don't know how to say that. <coughs> Mizoram, Mizoram. Does this pocket dictionary fit in any pockets? <sighs> that is a good question. I don't think so. That's pretty, that is my hand. I don't think so. Unless you, no, it won't. I oh, know, it's lies. That is false advertising. They say it's a pocket dictionary. There's no way that's fitting in anyone's pocket. That is unbelievable. But yeah, quite like this little dictionary. I think that's really nice. Anyone that wants to go and buy this is not sponsored. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I don't know. Lots of little projects that I have um, in the pipeline. Um, but yeah, and not enough room in the house. Like I don't. I'm actually in my kitchen right now. <laughs> I set up my computer in the kitchen for this. So anyway, um, here we are in the kitchen. Um, and yeah, running out of space for tanks. But anyway, we will make room and possibly sell the dining table to make room if need be. But I've already got the AOK -okay for that. So here we are. We might have some more. But, yeah, um, if anyone else has any other questions, let me know. But thank you, everyone, for joining. Um, yeah, that's oh, good. My first ever... Um, disco YouTube live stream. I'm really sorry about the, the webcam is really, really not having much fun, but that's okay. We will fix that for next time because it's really poor quality image as well. Sorry about that. We will fix it. We will, we will fix it for next time. But yeah. Yeah, so very exciting. I have lots and lots of videos that I actually have to um, edit and get ready. <laughs> On the day that I filmed um, setting up this tank, I think I had like four other videos that I was doing at the same time because you can only unbox something once. Like, <laughs> So I had to try and make sure um, that I was doing the unboxing videos and remember to do that for each thing before, um, yeah, continuing on with my little, just setting it all up. But there's still, I still haven't even set up the doser for that tank yet. <laughs> so much to do. But, yeah. Is it time for a glass of wine? It is definitely time. And I have my little glass of rosé. And this one is very nice and very, um, yeah, it's meant to be, it's called tread softly, so it's meant to tread softly on your head the next day. Well, it's meant to be very nice and, um, yeah, so you yeah, <laughs> headache the next day. So I'm down for that. I'll, 
I'll drink something if it's not meant to be, so at the next day. <clears throat> Get Ryan to do a collab video and so you'll, yes. So Ryan is my brother and he has also started a YouTube channel to compete with me to try and beat me, which is fine. He can do what he wants. I don't care. Um, and he is doing all sorts of camera gear and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, so I need to uh, do a, yo, Ryan, <laughs> my webcam's having a bad time. Can you fix it kind of collab video? I totally agree. <laughs> time for bed. See you, Taylor. Good night. Have a good night. Thanks for joining. Mikey, Mike, Mike, well, um, as you can see, we are having a strobe party with my webcam, so <laughs> just so you know, that's what you missed. Um, we're just having a little dance party. But, yeah, I might have to wrap it up soon. You guys are probably sick of having this little strobe party happening. So, <laughs> yeah, you have missed so much. <laughs> so much strobe party. Yeah. All right. Well, I think I might end it there because my webcam is really not coping very well. But I really, really appreciate everyone joining. Um, and also, I'm definitely thinking of doing monthly live streams. So this webcam is going to um, not be here next time. So I'll have one that works properly. I'm really sorry about that. Um, but I've also hopefully wrote in Jim from Telegram for my next live screen. Scream? Live screen. We're going to scream the whole live, so. <laughs> um, and also Lucas. Um, they were on a um, – Lucas was on Jim's te uh, live stream this morning. So um, I have roped both of them in to hopefully being in the next live stream. So, um Obviously, I'll have to sort out my, um, you know, webcam bad time sort of, <laughs> yeah, cross country, yeah. So, yeah, I actually thought cross country was pronounced cross crunchy the, my whole childhood when I was at school. So <laughs> when you said that, I was like, yes, <laughs> cross crunchy. And then it wasn't until I was in my adult years that I found out it was not the case. But, yeah, cross crunchy all the way. How do you know when, when I – next time I'm going to be a little bit more organised, I think, with my live stream and doing it. So this was a little bit last minute, this organising this live stream. But um, next time I will probably let, let you know in a little bit more advance um, and try and organise it a little bit better. So I'll definitely let you know. Um, but, yeah. Thank you, everyone, for joining, and we will see you next time. Thank you. I will see you guys later. Hope you all, and wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a very, very nice day, and, uh, yeah, we will see you next time. Thank you. I will just, thank you. I don't even know how delayed these comments are, but anyway, thank you, everyone, for joining. It's lovely. Catch you later, everyone. I might finish it now. Get, get you out of your strobe light. Um, yeah. Hope you've enjoyed the disco, everyone. We'll see you later. Thank you, everyone. We'll not stop you. Sorry, I'm just finishing this.